All right, well, let's move on to some of, something else that's yeah. been a big, major, major, major angle in yes. the world of wrestling. I would call it probably the second biggest angle other than the bloodline. I agree. At this minute. Yes. How, how do you know? You don't even know which angle I was talking about. I'm I, talking about best friends and the Lucha Brothers and <laughs> the Black Book. <laughs> Listen, if that's what we're talking about, I'm leaving I'm leaving right now and, don't, and you lose my number. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing any more podcasts. Vlad is cheating. He's looking at my notes. He sees that I was going to talk about MJF and Adam Cole. Yeah. That's why he said, I agree with you. Yes. So, okay. I'm kidding. I'm not talking about best friends and yeah, Lucha yeah. Brothers. But, so... MJF and Adam Cole are going to do a match at All In. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we found this out last week. You're right. We've already talked about yeah. that, the fact that it's announced. We've, mm -hmm. which, it was a weird idea to us. Yeah. And we're like, another, all right, let's see how this progresses or let's sure. see what happens. So here we go again. It's Wednesday night, and uh, MJF and Adam Cole are going to do a hangout session because they're buddies now. And it's very important that Adam, or MJF learns how to make friends. This is new to him. <laughs> new okay, to him. So, so he meets up with Adam Cole, and, there, and Adam Cole surprises him with a visit to the trampoline park, <laughs> which I didn't even know there were trampoline parks. So this, this is awesome. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, now you guys know where all my extra money is going to be going. <laughs> all these trampoline parks. I don't think there is a trampoline park around here. I, I got to figure that out. We should research that. I have no idea. I've never seen one, but there might be somewhere. So anyways, MJF in this segment, another silly pre-taped uh, cinematic segment, I yeah. guess, uh, goes along with it apprehensively. Yeah. Kind of seems weirded out by hanging out at the, at the trampoline park. But uh, there's dodgeball, mm -hmm. and he's like, okay, that seems fun. So he goes and picks on some kids. And throws the dodgeball at them, and uh, there were some insults that were funny. Do you remember any? He, he told the one kid, "Hey, bad news, I'm your dad." <laughs> I don't remember the insults, but yes, <laughs> bad news, I'm your dad. So then the little girl came up to them and asked a very actually, you know, poignant question: "Why? What, what are you guys? Are what are you guys doing here?" Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So they got pissed at her, and then they teamed up on her and bullied her together yeah they threw the ball yeah at her, so I guess. that's the way that's how ended. that's how they bonded yeah okay so there you go another bonding segment for them so more things happen on the show but i'm yeah. gonna cut to the part where just because we're on this topic yeah about them coming out together and cutting a, a, a promo together about their match so mm -hmm. this whole thing is really awkward right because they're gonna have a match but they're being very amicable and friendly about it like, hey, you know, we're going to main event together. Yeah, okay, cool. This is so cool. You know, we're going to have a yeah. good match. And then um, uh, MJF was like, oh, we're supposed to cut promos on each other now. And then he cut, like, a really horrible promo about him. I forgot what he said, that he was skinny and pasty. Or Do you remember any of them? Some, he did say something about being skinny and pasty and that if it was the 80s, Hogan would snort him or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. And, again, Adam Cole sometimes has to check uh, – MJF's like s social cues yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, tells him hey no that's don't do that that's not right that's not what I wanted to do got mad at him yeah and they gotta you know make up at, yeah. again which they've done several times yeah so the weird thing about this segment which came to the storyline that they're trying to get to here is that uh, Adam Cole wants another tag team title match but this time against the ring of honor tag team champions at all in Wembley on the same night they're gonna have a world title match so this was yeah. kind of insane in multiple ways mm. um, I know first of all before we get into it I know you don't really like Ring of Honor you don't really no. respect the idea of them putting these belts out like they're meaningful you don't think yeah. they're that meaningful they're not no. so they're trying to put them over though they're trying to they're, they're gonna get on the card at Mm. the biggest show one of the biggest gates in history of wrestling so okay they're on the pre-show alright look let's try to break this yeah. down uh, step by step yeah step by step let's try it let's let's forget the ring of honor thing first of all mm. okay let's just put that to the side okay you don't like ring of honor yeah you don't think some people think it's a it's a prestigious title it's right. had History, you know, they showed the video it package has. of. I agree that it has. Kevin not... Steen and Generico sure. and everybody. Yeah, you know, the Briscoes and what the Briscoes, sure. FTR, FTR. Okay, yeah. so 
Boop. Okay, this, this is too much of a mess for even me to make a coherent question out of this. Mm. Like, why a match on the same night? Who would who would ever do that? Who would ever have a match the same night when they're having a world title match? Uh, I don't know. An important world title match. And MJF even said that. He's like, not only do you want me to wrestle twice in one night, but a tag team match for the Ring of Honor world titles. Uh, I uh, don't understand the significance of that or why that needs to be part of the angle, but um, I don't know. I can't answer that. I, I don't have the answer. What do you think of this whole thing? Are you, are you maddened by this? Is, is this uh, kind of like... Maddened. Uh, no, not... That, well... It's yeah. weird as fuck. I'm They're going to come out on zero hour and well, have a tag team. Match. I'm almost now more and more convinced that it's... it's um, that it's actually Cole that's going to turn on, you know... That, and he's going to join this... That, that kingdom group with Roddy and it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up being like the one big... Sw- that's my prediction. You know, not like I know that for a fact, but that's just where I'm going with it, based on what I've seen so far. So, interesting. You know, it would make it would make sense because he already has history with those with those guys. You know, so I think that's where it's leading. As far as what's, I don't know. I don't even know how to make sense of the, the fact that they're also having a tag match at this pre-show for the Ring of Honor titles. Uh, I don't know what to even make of that. What what it all means? What I mean, are they going to win? If they win the Ring of Honor titles, what then? I don't know. Uh, you you got you got me, man. I, I don't know what to make of that, but I do think, as far as the main angle, which is what who who's gonna win or what's gonna happen, I think there could be some sort sort of swerve, and I would be surprised if it's Cole swerving uh, MGF. Yeah, I I think there's something that could happen in that tag team match. Like, if they lose or win, it'll be very interesting how that impacts the main event. Right. Because if they lose, then they might be mad at each other or right. someone might blame the other guy. And then they could just maybe have, like, a real match where they don't like each other. Sure. I guess. I, it's weird. But if they win, then they'll be tag team champions and then they can't swerve each other. I don't know. I still think there's a possibility they could just have a real, like, friendly match and then just shake hands at the end. I don't think Whoever that wins and then no. just stay friends. So what's the point of Roddy and the Kingdom being involved in the first place? If they were just if these were just two guys having a match, right? I don't know. Sometimes AEW do things that don't make sense. I guess. No, there has to be a reason that Roddy is involved in this thing. And of course, Roddy looks terrible in this whole. Well, I mean, his acting is not believable, and he looks like a jealous girlfriend. All right. Well, yeah. So let, let me explain what happened at the end of this segment. Yeah. I'm sure everyone who was listening to this has seen this or else you're not that hardcore a fan of wrestling to be <laughs> watching us if you haven't seen the show sure so uh roderick strong comes out at the end he's still got a neck brace on from many boy, weeks oh boy, ago oh boy. Uh, the fuck? he is milking this neck <laughs> Selling, i mean is this, did they snap it in half <laughs> that's samoa joe right it was samoa joe i think yes so okay um so he comes out does his usual uh trying to tell MJF like no you should I don't trust this guy I can't believe you're trusting this guy and then MJF cut a promo on Roddy calling him jealous girlfriend type and you right. know all this and said some bad stuff and then Adam Cole pushed MJF like no he's my friend too you don't act that w- that way and then MJF kind of got flustered that he pushed him which yeah. is fuck that's belief that's understandable and everyone's like oh it's just the moment and the crowd's like no no come on hug it out like you know they they can't stand the idea of these two breaking up like yeah. it, it'll for some of these fans it'll be like a, a tough moment to take you know what i mean so but yeah i mean so he they hugged it out yeah and then mjf again had that look on his face the the pissed off angry look yeah and if you think it's Adam Cole is going to turn on MJF I'm not saying MJF still can't do something as well but I'm just that's where I'm leaning towards <laughs> okay so we gotta wait till all in to see what happens yeah yeah but um well, I, I, think I, I don't know I mean I, I think I had another point to make about about that whole thing with the, the kingdom about oh well no I think the point I was going to make is Yes, you, as you mentioned, the crowd would be disappointed if they broke up because despite them only being a team for a short amount of time, they've managed to really, like, you know, the, the ratings improve when they're on, on the, you know... Yeah, on they have air. a toy now, and they have a... They're selling with the their, shirt. With their the shirt. shirt. You know, they're, you know, so they're selling merch, right? 
Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Mark my words. I might make it my official prediction before that. They're going to be a tag team for the next 10 they're years. Gonna be a, they're <laughs> going to win the Ring of Honor tag team titles. We'll see them on Thursday nights on Honor Club. Tag team. No, MJF is never going to be on Honor Club. <laughs> I I could I'll bet that I'll bet the house that MJF will well, never Well, that gives appear. away their fucking the result of that tag team match. Well, then. yeah, I get it might have to because MJF will never appear on. So on they'll lose club. that match. I think they'll lose that match. MJF yeah. will kind of be slightly pissed off. Yeah. And then he's gonna take it out on Adam Cole at the end of the night. I don't think Cole's turning on MJF, man. I think Cole's gonna be a baby face. So I then think, again, I ask, what's the point of what's the point of Kingdom and Roddy involved in this then, in your opinion? What's their what's the point of them even being introduced in this angle? I really don't know. I mean, I, I maybe Cole will join them, but not as a heel. As a face. I guess. No, but they're a, uh, the Kingdom are a heel group, I think. Yeah, they are kind of a heel group. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. We're we're throwing around all kinds of possibilities. It is. I, I guess it's good that they're keeping us guessing. Yeah. They're keeping in some us ways, guessing. that's good. In some ways, there's there's definitely. But they could blow it like the bloodline angle. I, we'll see what happens. In yeah. The end. Yeah. All right.